Teddy bear's math. Barbara Barbary McGrath. Illustrated by Tim Nihoff. That's with me again. Colorful teddies make great counting tools. Grab four big handfuls, then follow the rules. Follow the rules. Take a quick glance. You don't need to count. Keep a guess in your head of the total amount. Sort the teddies by colors. How do you? How many sets did you get? We'll use them in groups, so don't move them just yet. Let's make a graph where the bears climb and play. For solving math problems, a graph is the way. In the row that that reads red, place the red from your pile. Put red bear in each box. This might take a while. Now we'll do the same with yellow, purple, and blue. Don't forget orange and green teddies too. Examine Ex- the bears when you, when your hard work has keys seized. Which row has the most? Which row has the least? Short, long, or equal. Compare the six rows. The more bears you add, the longer each grows. Write down the total you see in each row. Let's see if your guess was too high or low. Too or too low. Now that. Now add them together. The sum, the sum will be grand. You can add all the numbers or count each bear by hand. The number you reach more or less, more or less than you thought. Take the large. Take the small from the large. That's the difference you got. Teddies are waiting to try something new. With math, there is always a new thing to do. It's time now to multiply, and time to the divide. Push the teddies together. Use these words as a guide. It's easy to divide the teddies by two. Let's do the. Do it like this. One for me, one for you. Are the amount um, um, amounts unequal, or are they the same? You'll find in division, one bear can remain. If you have a reminder, move that bear to the side. So. So what happens next? Something bears haven't tried. Hmm. Split the two bunches so the teddies can think. Make four groups of ten bears. All the rest take a break. Multiply the bears. Do this carefully. What times is ten? Is ten four times ten is forty? As you now can see, it, it's time to arrange the four groups into eight. Five bear in each group means you're doing just great. Count by five up to forty. The total is clear. That's eight times five bears. The answer right here. Eight plus 
plus eight um eight times five equals forty. Multiplying numbers is a fun thing to do. Next, use the bears to find ten teddies times two. Ten times two equals twenty. If if you turn it around, we'll see. Will you see twenty again? Yes, that's the product of two bears times ten. You have thought much, and you have learned plenty. But do you know how many fives make up twenty? I don't know. Mm -mm. How do you know? On the subject of twenty, bears can do more. You'll get the same number with five groups of four. Five times four equals twenty. Take one bear of each color. Put them in all in line. Start with your favorite. Six bears look just fine. It's time now to say goodbye to the rest. They love doing math, and I. And think you're the best. For the six that are left, slowly follows each word. The fourth bear goes first, and the fifth, second, the third, third. The second goes fourth. He trots away fast. The sixth will be fifth, and the first will be last. Congratulations! Great job! You're on the right path. You followed directions and did teddy bear math. The end. Ba 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 da. Ba 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 da ba.